Hey guys, it's going to be again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, I wanted to thank you for joining the channel. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you if you haven't subscribed to the channel to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because that's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more content. Today I'm going to do a short video and this video is going to be about light estimation in augmented reality. I want to give you some insight on how to get this information from the AR components and then basically display that information in a canvas. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. All right, guys, so let me show you what I have set up so far for light estimation. So all I did is I cloned the previous scene that I created last time for our previous video. So what I have right now is I have a basic directional light. I have the AR session, which I show you how to create it in the previous video. I also show you how to create an AR session origin. So for the most part, this should be basically the same thing that we did before. And then the only thing different here is I created a canvas. And this canvas doesn't really have anything other than three different text boxes. So you can see that I have a text for the brightness value that I'm going to get from the light estimation implementation in AR. I'm also going to get the temperature and I'm also going to get the color correction value. So very basic, I haven't really done anything. So what I want to show you in this video is how we can get those values from the AR camera manager. So what I'm going to do first is we're going to be creating a new script. So I'm going to go into the script folder, right click on it, create C sharp script, and we're going to call it light estimation. Excellent. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my directional light and add a component and we're going to call it we're basically going to associate the script that we created, light estimation. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up in my Visual Studio Code. Let me make sure that I open the right one. Double click on it. There we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using, changing, uh, adding a using statement, which is going to be unit engine, XR, and we're going to be bringing in AR foundation. We don't need any list, so I'm just going to remove those top two. Excellent. And I'm also not going to need the star or the update. So the first thing that I need is I need a reference to the AR camera manager. So we're going to basically just grab the AR camera manager. We're also going to need to create a new variable. So I'm just going to make this one private. And then we'll just say AR camera manager. And we'll just serialize it so we can associate it through the inspector. Awesome. The other things that I'm going to need is I'm going to need to store reference to these text text values. So I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to bring in a new namespace and that's going to be using Unity Engine UI. There we go. And then we're going to need private, we're going to need the brightness. So I'm just going to say brightness. Let's see if I can spell that correctly. Brightness value. We're also going to need the temperature, so I'm just going to call it temp. And also the color correction value. So I'll just call it color correction. Awesome. And they're also going to be fields that we serialize. So we can add in through the inspector. Awesome. So that should give us that those three different properties. And also the AR camera manager, so that's going to be four. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab our AR camera manager which you can see that it gets associated that way. We're going to grab the brightness. We're going to grab the temperature and also the color correction. So that's everything that we need to do as far as connecting the UI. So now that we have that, I'm going to be bringing in two methods. I'm going to say on enable, and I'm also going to do the on disable. Awesome. So now on the on enable and on disable, I'm going to add and, and determine if we receive a frame from the camera. So to do that, I need to do AR camera, frame receive, and then this is gonna basically add an action to this event. So I'm just gonna say frame, frame updated or frame receive. Doesn't matter what we call it, just something that is minimal, meaningful to you. And we're also gonna remove that from the undisable. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna create a new private method that is going to get the values from the camera. So if you hover over this, you're going to see that it takes an action of AR camera frame event arcs. So that's what we need to do here. AR camera 
event arcs, and this is going to be arcs. And then we shouldn't have any more errors. Yep, they went away. Awesome. So there's a couple of things that I need to check. All the arcs on the light estimation are nullable types. So I'm going to have to just check to see, to make sure that they all have values. So this one is for the brightness, the average brightness. I'm going to need one for the temperature and also one for the color correction. So this one is going to be the temperature. This one is going to be the color correction. Awesome. And then let me make sure that I grab the correct. Yep, there we go. It has value. It's not pr plural, it's singular. All right, and everything looks good there. So now for the brightness, I'm going to say brightness value text. And we're going to use a string interpolation. So this one is going to be brightness. And then we'll just use our curly brace to bring in the value. And I'm just going to copy this value right here. I'm just going to say value. And there we go. So we're going to basically display that this is the value for brightness. So this is kind of like our, our label column, the value that we're getting from the light estimation. Then we'll do the same thing with average color. So just copy and place that, except this one is going to be the temperature. So this is the average color temperature. And then we'll do the same thing for the color correction. Just replace that. And then except this one is going to be value. It's like I had, yep, I think I had it correctly. And then this one is going to be color. And then I need to use the proper text. There we go. And then this other component. All right, let me just check everything. So we have private variables that are exposed through the inspector, the air camera manager, which we already hooked up, and then all of our text values, which we already hooked up through the inspector. We also added an event where we receive a frame receipt. When we basically get a frame receive event, we call the frame update it, and also on disable, we remove it. So I think. Then on the private method, what we do, we get the arguments and then we check to make sure that we don't have any nulls on each one of them. And then we set the values on the appropriate text box. All right. So I think, I think we're good there. So now let me go back. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this scene to the bill. So let's go to bill settings and it looks like I already had it at it. So the next thing that I have to do is I want to show you how this runs on the device and how those values get updated. So to do that, I'm going to build it. And I already built it before, and I'm just going to hit Save. And let me make sure that this is correct. Let me go ahead and remove it. I'm just going to move it to Trash. And then just hit Save to recreate it. There we go. So it's going to create a new build, a new iOS build. And then I'll just continue, or continue on as soon as this is completed. All right, guys, so it looks like I finished building and I tested it and it looks like it wasn't getting the values correctly. It got the value the first time, but then it wasn't setting them correctly. And I think it's because we need to set those values on the light. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple more code to the light estimation. So I'm just going to open it up. And then in here, I'm going to add a new variable. And this one is not going to be exposed. So you're going to say private and then it's going to be light, light. And then what I'm going to do is when this starts, it's going to say private void awake. And then when we start, we, we're going to basically get the light component, which is assigned to this same game object. So I'm just going to say light. Excellent. And the next thing that we need to do is I need to let's see if this is complaining because, okay, I see. So let's go ahead and call it, let's go ahead and do current light. And let's just name it current light. All right, so I think that should do it. And then what I'm going to do is I need to also set the values here. So this one is going to be the intensity, which is basically going to grab the brightness, set the intensity. I'm also going to do the same thing with, similar thing with the temperature. So we should have a color temperature, which we do, and then average color temperature. And then on the color correction, and this needs to be the value and also the value here. And on the 
color correction, let me make sure current light, color correction, and I believe we just need to do the same thing that we're doing here because the type is color. There we go. So let's go ahead and test this. I'm going to run this again on my device and see what results I get. So I'm going to go back into Unity. And the, the other thing that I want to do is also test it and see and get you the results. So I'm just going to hit, hit build. And then I'm going to override the scene that we had and then hit append and replace. And I'll just leave this running one more time and then I'll just report back to you with the results. Alright guys, so it looks like it's finished, so I'm going to go ahead and build it and run it on my phone and start the application on my phone. So it looks like it's running now and launching and now we can see values on the brightness and also the, the temperature. So you can see that the brightness value is 0.47 ish. If I put my hand on it, now that I don't have a lot of lighting, you can see how the value and the temperature so everything is getting updated based on the you know the lighting the ambient lighting the the other thing that i wanted to also mention that i did is on the component that i have here so if you go to the ar session origin and let me go into ar session yeah and then go into the air camera if you look at the ambient intensity the light estimation most at mode I had it set to disable so that wasn't tracking the estimation so one of the fixes that I had to do is basically change that to ambient intensity and now when I'm trying when I get the frame the frame receive method is actually getting the values that it's supposed to get so make sure that you set that to ambient intensity and then you should be able to track those values so that's everything I wanted to show you guys thank you all right guys thank you very much for watching this video i really appreciate your time and i hope you had a good time by watching me go through the light estimation video and i wanted to ask you if you could check out gamedev.net because they have amazing resources from your developers i completely recommend them they have really really good information for either developers that are starting out or advanced game developers so make sure that you check them out and also find my information in patreon.com where i'm basically posting all the stuff that i'm doing behind the scenes not only stuff that I'm doing behind the scenes, but also the link to the GitHub projects that I'm basically open sourcing. So make sure that you find me in patreon.com and also check out game, gamedev.net. Thank you very much, guys.